I greet you, my dear brothers and sisters, and I welcome you to this sacrifice of Mass. In our Gospel text today, we hear of two main stories. The first one concerns the official who wanted Jesus to touch his daughter who had died. And this official, or the ruler, believed that when Jesus touches his dead daughter, she will be brought back to life. And the second story concerns the lady who had suffered from a hemorrhage for 12 years. But this is a different story. For her, she's the one who wanted to touch Jesus. But the other one, the official, wanted Jesus to touch the dead daughter. So the first story concerns the divine touch, Jesus touching us. And the second story concerns the human touch. It concerns us touching Jesus. So both are important. We all need, need Jesus to touch us. And in the same way, we have to struggle to touch Jesus, such that he may bring to us healing. These two stories have so many lessons to teach us. The first lesson is from the story of the official or the ruler. It gives us an example of an intercessory prayer. He acted as the official acted as in an intercessor for the daughter who had died. This teaches us to pray always for those in need. Most especially those who can no longer reach the church. Some are in, are in critical condition. So those need our prayers because they cannot pray for themselves. So it is us who still have the chance to talk to God in a special way. To pray for them, we should act as intercessors like the official. Also the dead. The dead can no longer pray for themselves, especially those who are in purgatory. They need our prayers. So we need to intercede for them before God because we still have a chance like the official. Let us not only mind about our needs when we come before Jesus. Let us always remember to pray for those who need our prayers. That is the first lesson. The second lesson we get from these two stories. Let us try to be patient, hopeful, and never lose trust and faith. No matter the situation we are going through, let us be patient, let us be hopeful, let us never lose faith and trust in God. One day, one time, we shall get what we need. The woman who had suffered from a hemorrhage had suffered for 12 years and she was patient, she was hopeful, she had faith and trust in God. Her only prayer, as we have heard, if I only touch the hem of the garment, I will be healed. That was her prayer always. Oftentimes, we suffer from simple headaches, fevers, toothache, and we tend to become so impatient when the COVID relief funds delay, oh ho, we are always disturbed. And when we messages come to us that the money is going to be given or distributed according to alphabetical order, my friend Zizinga, Zirabamuzari, 
Zaina and Ziwa, they become so impatient. They begin to lose faith. When they say we are going to give it to districts according to alphabetical orders, those of Wakiso and Yumbe begin panicking and they become impatient. Remember, the daughter had died. You know what death means. There was no hope that she would come back. The woman had suffered for 12 years. For you have suffered for a few days. And you are becoming so impatient. You are losing faith. Let us be patient. Let us be hopeful. Let us have faith and trust. We shall receive what we want. And the third lesson that sometimes we need to get out of the crowd and stand alone, all with a few people who are on our side in order to achieve something. Like someone said, I quote, if you stand for the truth, you better be ready to stand alone. The crowd can discourage, the crowd is noisy, the crowd can mislead and the crowd can cause commotion. The crowd can laugh at you. Jesus, before performing the miracle of bringing back the, this girl to life, he had to get out of the crowd. He told them, take out all these people and he remained with a few who are on his side. So let us always to get, try to get out of the crowd and stand with a few people who are always on our side. After achieving what we want, then the crowd can come. We pray that God may help us to be patient. Always never lose hope, as we have heard in the responsorial psalm, that in my God I trust. Let us always trust in God. The Lord be with you.